Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Walk with Jesus. Today, we're going to be going straight into scripture, Matthew 18 verse 12. To remind us of the love of God and how much Jesus loves us. So, just on a side note, uh, the enemy just tried to use monkeys to steal my Cocoa Pops. Okay, guys, I'm not giving up. I'm going to preach this word. Yeah, it's my Cocoa Pops. It's important. So, let's just get straight into it. What did Jesus say in verse 12? What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happy about that one sheep than about the 99 that didn't wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. That's the word of God, guys. How amazing that no matter what, uh, Jesus, he's basically telling us that the Father will, he'll never leave us. He will never leave us. The Holy Spirit will never leave us. No matter what, he will leave the 99 to go after the one. And, uh, short testimony uh, um i was the one guys um basically this whole channel everything was uh it was initially uh, the the name was the lost lamb and lamb because i was a kid back then guys okay now i'm a sheep just kidding okay love a little be happy guys so <laughs> um yeah so the love of god uh on a serious note it's and something that you cannot run away from, no matter what the enemy tries to say to us, what he lies about, uh, this is the truth, the word of God is the truth, it's a firm foundation, it is Jesus, um, if you build on the word, you know that you, you um, are building on firm ground, and once you know who you are in Christ Jesus, and how much he loves you, I mean, look at that, the Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish like that is the father that is the love of god no matter what we do he loves us yeah in comparison to um the parable of the lost sheep we also see in luke 15 verse 17 and it talks about the parable of the lost son and how uh when he he went back to his father and he he realized um that he he was he wanted to come back and he said in verse 19, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. Uh, so he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. And that we see also the, 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 the love of God that no matter what we've done and no matter where, how we lost, how we were lost and no matter how much of wrong we've done uh, before this prior to this uh, it was the acknowledgement of the son uh, understanding that he was wrong and that he has sinned against heaven and against against his father and he said it there and um, I think that's where it all begins when we really acknowledge uh, that we like I said in my testimony uh, acknowledge that we do not want to be who we were anymore and we want to be made you new and we want to come back and the father is waiting like it says here and threw his arms around him and kissed him like full with compassion like that is the, that is the love of god that is the love of the father and we have a good father so no matter what you've done no matter what you how far you strayed uh, know that he still loves you and uh, I believe this message is for a lot of people that we just need to be reminded of what the Word of God says about us and um, every one of us. Um, he loves us so much and I've seen it. I've seen the hand of God pull me out of the deepest, darkest pits ever and uh, in times where I wanted to give up on life. And these scriptures uh, really built me up. It kept me strong, kept me um fervent in prayer and just to, to keep fighting and having faith and uh, God really he really he held me together he was his love that filled every crack every void because in a time like this we all just looking for the affirmation and this is the affirmation we need the love of God and until we have that we'll be longing for for that from people and I've, I've learned that you can't get it from people. Uh, we all human 
and I don't blame anybody for the way life uh, throws things at them. Circumstances, situations make people uh, a certain way and yeah, it is a choice but I believe everybody, everybody does have good in them and I, I, I choose to hold on to that. Uh, as much as the circumstances point otherwise, I know that we were made in his image and the enemy just tries to get us down and I just want you to know that even though he may be uh, telling you otherwise that you are not loved and you cannot be saved or God has forgotten about you, I'm here to remind you that that's a lie and this is the truth and you are so loved unconditionally with an everlasting love and your father loves you. So I really pray it encourages you, it blesses you today.